Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Phasmophobia has officially announced their winter event, and I'm excited. Very excited, in fact. So let's read up on it. Let's read about it. Welcome back. We've got some news for you. Beware that witch creeps in the cold night. Mm -hmm. Today, we're excited to announce Winter's Jest, the next event in Phasmophobia's calendar, and our final one for 2024. The event itself will be live in-game from 12 a.m. UTC, December 12th, 2024, through December 31st of 2024. Continuing on from our Blood Moon event last month, we'll be tasking ghost hunters with working together to achieve a set of shared goals in order to receive rewards. We've taken on feedback from the Halloween event and implemented that into the scoring system, lowering that the required scores while increasing the amount earned from completing tasks and rewarding bonuses for those playing on higher difficulties. This will mean progress will feel quicker and more satisfying throughout this event. I like that. I like that. Because like playing professional while doing the Halloween event, it felt like the rewards that we got from it were very minimal. So I, I like that they're rewarding you more bonuses as you play on higher difficulties. Maybe we'll play on insanity and get the most, you know, but I mean, that, I don't know about that. We'll also be introducing personal daily and weekly challenges for participating in the event. Completing these will reward you with increased XP and money. This is fire. I love everything about that. I love everything about that. Who doesn't love increased XP and money? Dude, I just prestige, so I need more XP and money. Snowfall. During Winter's Jest, a selection of maps will be blanketed in snow, adorned with festive decorations while also playing host to something incredibly sinister. Been on the lookout. Been on the lookout, Ghost Hunters? I, I feel like that's a typo. I feel like it's supposed to say be on the lookout, Ghost Hunters. I digress. So... The locations are as follows, Grafton Farmhouse, Tanglewood Drive, Maple Lodge, and Point Hope. Sadness. On the topic of that incredibly sinister presence lurking across these maps, keep your eyes on our social media challenges to piece together what or who it might be. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'll be keeping my eyes open. Ghost Hunters will once again be tasked with hunting down evidence identifying ghosts, and completing optional objectives during investigations. Adding a festive twist to your games this time will be discoverable jack-in-the-box items. Opening these will grant points towards the overall community goal and get you closer to those rewards. Once a stage of the overall community goal is completed, you'll be able to interact with the event altar to claim that stage's rewards. Incorporating feedback from the Blood Moon event We've made sure there'll be more time once the goal is completed for players to claim these prizes before the end of the event. Yeah, because I remember like once it came towards the end of the Halloween event, this last event that just happened, players didn't have enough time to go in and claim their rewards because... Life isn't all about video games. We have lives outside of video games. We have school. We have work, we got family to tend to, we got husbands and wives to tend to, we got kids to tend to. So, the fact that they're going to give you a little bit of extra time to claim your rewards is very generous. Thank you to everyone who submitted feedback on the Blood Moon event, Blood, 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 Blood Moon event last month. These types of community-driven events are now are new to both Phasmophobia and us at Kinetic Games. And we're learning as we go. As you'll have read, Winter's Jest includes things like personal challenges, improved community scoring, and more. All of which speaks to some of the feedback provided. We aim to continue evolving these events with features such as auto-claiming for event rewards, fire, improved rewards for individual players, fire, map rotation during events, also fire. In the meantime, we hope you continue to enjoy the events and provide feedback via our official Discord. 
where we'll be hosting feedback sessions on certain areas of phasmophobia each month. Uh, thank you for taking part in our events throughout 2024, especially as we begin to experiment with mechanics such as community goals. Throughout 2025, we will continue to evolve and iterate on what's possible in phasmophobia, not just events. We look forward to joining. We look forward to you joining us on that journey. Thanks, the Kinetic Games team. This is why phasmophobia will never die. Is because one, they have devs that actually play the game and, and are experiencing the bugs and fixes and things that we all experience so they can work on it and get them fixed quicker and more efficiently to help make the game more smooth and enjoyable for everybody. And they listen and talk to their community. Not enough games do that. Not enough games do that. And that's why I feel like Phasmophobia is going to be around and top every single horror game out there for God knows how long. Don't get me wrong. There are great horror games out there. But when it comes to how open to feedback, transparent and honest and quick that Phasmophobia is to please their community, that's what's going to help them stick around for as long as they are. That's just my personal opinion. I'm excited for this winter event. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like. I'm scared to see what it's going to be like as well. But more excited than anything. Um, for YouTube purposes, we'll make this a video. Fuck it. For YouTube purposes, what's your feedback about this, about this event? Tell me. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video from your boy. That's it.